Wooly bees. Just showing you what one small little frame of honey, not even a full frame, I mean just a little bit. You can see where they've done chewed the crap out of it. A little bit on that side. Can do during a dearth. This is in front of my workshop. I brought this little frame of honey. I combine or not combining but taking some boxes off because the dearth is here obviously you can tell it taking boxes taking empty frames they never drew out out of boxes brought them up here and set them up didn't have a single problem till I brought this little box or this frame that had just a little bit of honey I mean maybe two tablespoons wasn't even capped it was just nectar Brought it up here and set it up here, not thinking. Went back to work. And guess what? I mean, they're all over this bee brush. This bee brush has not touched a comb with honey or anything in it in five years. I refuse to use one of these things. This is what I call a bee pisser offer. They're useless. Turkey feather. Long blades of grass. I mean, look at them. They're jumping right back on it. I mean, there's, and there was no honey up here. So tell me why they're bawling right there. If you got an idea, drop them in the comments. I mean, an old, where I'd grafted and they drew wax all over the cups. Nothing been in that in a couple of weeks. This is horrible. This is the 10th of June, July, excuse me. Down here in the valley, we've probably been in the dirt for about a week and a half, two weeks maybe. Just a little flow going on. There's some clover. I mean, we haven't had a rain in two weeks, so that clover's probably not producing anything hardly. There's some over there on the driveway. The chase tree, the Crepe myrtles are blooming. That's about all that's blooming around here in the yard. Crepe myrtles give mostly pollen. The chase tree or the vitex are the ones that are doing the majority of the nectar flow, and there's only about eight of those in the yard. No, seven in the back, three in the front, ten. But I mean, these guys have went nuts over just a little bit of honey, so that's the lesson. During the dearth, do not whatsoever leave any honey out. Work your hives in the middle of the day. This is late in the afternoon. I'm staying around for these guys right here. Because there is a hive in this swarm trap. It's got maybe, it's a seven frame deep trap with about, well, I'll link the video to how to make one in the, in the description, but there's about five frames of bees in that box. And if that gets started over here, that box is done. So needless to say, you'll see where I'm gonna be hanging out for the next 30 minutes just to make sure that hive doesn't get robbed out too. Cause that is a quite prolific queen and it's a late season swarm too. Well, guys, if you like the videos, hit the like and subscribe. If you learned something, that's what I hope I've taught. Don't leave honey out, especially in the dearth. If this had been in the middle of the flow in April, they would have ignored it. They would have not even thought about coming to get it. It had been eaten up by the ants first because they'd go for nectar first, then sugar water, then honey. That's been proven by a friend of mine, David Jastrom. If I can find it, I'll link that video in the description below too. Have a good day. Don't make this mistake.